Tim and Willie in the morning. Hey, uh, you know what? When country music news breaks, uh, we fix it. That's right. And if it's happening in Music City, USA, you know what? It's, it's news, news to, to us. us. But we do have Viva Nash Vegas coming up, and we do keep you uh, posted on whenever a country music star gets a tattoo. That is correct. So we, have a, we have a special tattoo report coming up in our next Viva Nash Vegas. Stay tuned for that, won't you, please? Uh, will do. Thank you. Uh, good morning. This is Tim and Willie. Good morning. Hi. Hey, you guys played um, a song by Tim McGraw. I just heard it the other day for the first time. Angry all the time or something like that. Angry yes. all the time. Yes, with, you know what I'm talking about? With wife Faith Hill. Yes, because I called and asked, who sang that song? And you guys told me. So right. are you going to be playing that anytime soon? Yes. <laughs> okay. I just I, When I listen to it, I just want to go to my bedroom and, and curl up in a ball and suck my thumb. I, I hope <laughs> Faith and Tim aren't singing that really to each other. I hope not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If we okay. don't play it, are you going to be angry all the time? <laughs> no, not all the time. Just for just for a while this morning. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll just make sure that when you're angry that you release it appropriately. Good. Okay. I'll uh, do that. All right. You know, I'm at work, and I got the radio on, but, you know, half the people yell at me for listening to country all the time, and, <sighs> and uh, you know. Sounds like they're angry all the time. <laughs> That's what I think, and it's like, you know what? I'm just going to leave it on here. If I know my song's coming on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it on. Right on. What's your name? Uh, Carrie. Carrie, right, Carrie, just turn to the half of the people who are upset with you and just say, Damn you! <laughs> Damn you all to hell! <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Bye now. Have a good day. Tim and Willie in the morning. You know what? We're, we're, de- we're declaring this an All About You Friday. It's, yeah. It's really all about you, the listeners. That is true. Our way of saying thanks for making the show all about you. Hello. I was wondering if you guys could play a song for me. For you! Anything. Please. We, we would fight the bull. <laughs> <laughs> Could you play, um, I think it's by Garth Brooks, two pina coladas or something? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I love that song. It'll get me woken up. Are you ready for happy hour already? Yes, I am. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Friday. Hey, All right. Well, just be sure that you eat plenty of the free happy hour food <laughs> to go along with the uh, pina coladas. By the way, we, Willie, we're out of cocktail weenies. Not oh, for long. Geez, that's it. <laughs> okay. Quit everything. Go get some. Have a great day. You too, thank you. Bye. Bye. We're Tim and Willie in the morning. Hello. Hi, is this Tim and Willie? Yes, it is. Can I request a song? Go sure right can. ahead, young person of America. <laughs> can I um, have you guys play um, Born to Fly? Born, Born to, fly. to Fly. Sarah Evans, great anthem. Yeah. That's right. What's your name? Sierra. Sierra. Will you just remember the words to that song, will you? Because you were born for greatness. I don't really remember the words. Yeah, uh, it's something about talking to a scarecrow and some... uh, whatever. Which is really stupid when you think about it, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, But, uh, Sierra, you have a great day, okay? Okay. All right. Bye-bye. From from Timmy and Willie in the morning. Whatever you want, whatever you need, we hope that you'll give us a call here at your friendly neighborhood radio station Mm -hmm. and talk to us, your dependable, bendable radio buddies. Uh Uh-huh, you and me. The disc jockeys with the minty fresh breath. (sighs) Hello? Hi, can you play me a song? Yeah! Can you play While You Love Me by Rascal Flatts? I was born the day you kissed me, girl. But I died inside. Let me out. <laughs> All right. When I play that song, I want you to imagine me um, lip syncing to it because it's my favorite pantomime song right now. I get into it, man. I get down on my knees and Tim, I get my he, he fist shakes his going. Hand, shakes his hand and points his finger like Christine Aguilera. I point up to the oh, okay. sky, and my face gets all red and sweaty. And that vein pops out in the side of his neck. Who are you? Sarah. Sarah. Hey, Sarah. All right, then, Sarah. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Bye. Wow, you love me. Tim and Willie in the morning. Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 Well, you know what? There are some new breeds of dogs out there. Yeah. <laughs> now, that I didn't understand. That have been let out. So there are some trainers in, uh, I don't know, in the Intermountain region of the, I don't know, I don't know where they are, but uh, listen to some of these breeds. <laughs> they have taken a collie, you know, collie is Lassie. Sure. Yeah. You know what a Las Opso is? Sort it's kind of. kind of a shaggy, kind of a needle-nosed dog. Uh, anyway, okay. they mixed a collie with a Las Opso. And they've got a Calopso. <laughs> it's a dog that folds up for easy transport. No, come on. They've taken a Spitz and a Chow Chow, <laughs> yeah. and they've got Spitz Chow, a dog that throws up a lot. Okay. Uh, they have a Pointer, and they've mixed it with a Setter, and they've got a Point Setter, a traditional Good. Christmas pet. Good morning. A Pekingese. Don't you have a Pekingese, Willie? Uh, I, no. 
they've taken a Pekingese and a Lhasa Apsu, and they've created a Picasso, <laughs> which is a very abstract dog. <laughs> Without an ear. Yes. Um, <laughs> they've taken a bloodhound, and they've bred it with a Labrador to come up with a Blabador, a dog that just barks incessantly. <laughs> I got and, one of those. Yes. Here is uh, my favorite. A Malamute and a Pointer have been bred together to create a Moot Point. <laughs> Owned by, well, it doesn't matter anyway. No, it really oh, doesn't. God. Tim and Willie in the morning. 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 Hey, hello there. Who's this? Uh, Scott. Hey, Scott. Something say I want to say? Ready, Jay? I did the same old, same old. Uh, not much. I just want to request a song. Oh, good. Help us out. Which one? Thunder Roll, Garth Brooks. Ooh, the thunder rolls. Yeah. Are you cheating on your wife? Actually, last night, she come home smelling all different, you know, like another guy. And uh, it kind of reminded me of that song, you know, It's All Stormy Out. And I uh, <laughs> thought maybe I'd uh, play that for her this morning, see, see what she thinks. She doesn't think I know, but uh huh. I think she'll get the clue. Right. Well, that is a pretty good way to find out. You know, if you suspect any funny business with your spouse, uh-huh. uh, you know, just take a big whiff. Really? And well... Look- what exactly does that smell well, like? If they come home at three thirty in the morning and they mm-hmm. smell like uh It smells like a trucker's roid cushion. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bad sign. Or or like it's a, a little more like a someone dropped a rancid pork chop into a, a like a porto toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. hey. hey, so what are you doing this morning? Uh, not much. Just uh, hanging out working. Oh yeah? Where do you work? Uh, metal products. Metal products? Yeah. What are you doing there today? Making metal products at Metal Products. Oh. All right. Well, how about a nice hand for all the people and all the metal products in the yeah. world? Right. Just to, yeah. And don't you know? Don't you people who make plastic products feel excluded? We love you no, too. No, we love everybody. Yeah. All the people making things out of ceramic too today. That's just yeah. to be careful. Yeah. This okay. Kiln explosions. Thanks. Okay, buddy. Yeah. Thanks, Tim and Willie. I look forward to talking to you again. <laughs> all right. Please leave a message after the beep. Hello. Wake up. Mail your old lady. Tim and Willie in the morning. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's up? Not much. What's up with you? <laughs> Not much. Uh, what is up with you? What's up with you? Hey, hey what's up with you? What's this game. <laughs> Not much. What? Okay, uh, what's going on? Well, I just want to know what you two goofballs are up to today. You well, know, uh, we're actually sitting here thinking about what to think about. And oh, and really, well, nothing's coming to us. And I, and I, and I uh, was just wondering what you were up to. Well, I'm up to an awful lot, but I can't tell you over the air. Why? Well, you know what? This is starting to sound like the Gary Condit interview. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is great. Yeah. Why can't you tell us? Oh, that would be obscene. Oh. You trying to spare your really? family's dignity? Yes, I am. How'd you know that? Well, yeah. You're pretty sharp there. All right. Well, can we at least play you a song? Yeah. Play me uh, the Tim McGraw song, his latest song. The one with Faith Hill. Oh, Angry that's a great one. Pardon me? Angry all the time? Yes, because I'm angry all the time. It happens. Ah, come on. (laughs) All right. See you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We're Tim and Willie. Well, good morning to you. Hey, can can you do me a favor? Can we make a request here? Yeah, let's do it, man. Uh, We'd like to hear that Faith Hill song from Pearl Harbor. Oh, yeah. Uh, Why Are You Bombing Me, that song? (laughs) I don't know. I don't think that's it, but... (laughs) Whatever the name is, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yes. Oh, yeah, we sure do. Uh, Where are you, Christmas? No. What's the name of it? <laughs> it's Faith Hill from Pearl Harbor movie. My know. heart will go on. Uh, I think we've got the morning guys on goofing on us now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good morning. That's what we do. If you could play for it, uh, we'd really appreciate it. What's your name? Ted. Ted, and who's that with you there? It's uh, Beverly. And where are you guys at? We're at Beverly's place. All right. <laughs> Beverly, is, does she own a bar? No. Well, she kind of does, but it's just <laughs> after hours. Okay. All right. Well, you guys have a nice little party there. We appreciate it. If you can play it, we really appreciate it. All, All right, right dude. See you, you later. Take it easy. Bye-bye okay. now. Later. This is Tim and Willie in the morning. Well, you know, no sooner do we get one email request saying, Play fast stuff. Play mm-hmm. something to get your high heel going and your diggity gee. Yeah. Then we get, you know, more calls from people who want to hear the sappy stuff. So, mm-hmm. hi there. Hi. I wanted to request a song. Go ahead. Okay. I wanted to hear Mark Wills, I Do Cherish You. Yeah. And can you send it out to my husband? Oh, it's a beautiful love gives out to, isn't it? Yes. You know, we've, we've had him. We've had huh? an increase in Mark Wills' requests just recently. Have you? 
I yeah. think because yeah. he has that new really good song out right now. It, did he just send out a mailer to everybody or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, did you get a bro? Got a brochure on your windshield? He's running for dog catcher. <laughs> hey, uh, who'd you say it's for? To my husband, Josh. Josh. From? From Andy. All right, let's see if we can uh, throw a sappy one on here. Beautiful love gives out to coming up because, you know, love is what it's all about, right? Yeah. That's yeah. True. All right. Hey, Ricky. Mm-hmm. You're so fine. Yeah. <laughs> You're so fine. You blow my mind. We love you, Ricky. <laughs> Tim and Willie in the morning. <laughs> Going to be speaking with the one and only Keith Urban in just oh, a few yeah. minutes. Can't wait. As our uh, Tim and Willie Thon continues here on the radio. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. How are you doing? I am doing very well. How are you? We're hanging in. We're doing okay. Pretty good. Excellent. Hey, I have a request. My baby daughter's birthday was the day after this horrible mess um, happened. She turned one, and I had been planning um, for months. To call you guys on her birthday and ask you to play the Happy Girl song. Oh, right, by Martina McBride. Uh huh. She is the happiest baby I have ever seen. Really? Oh. She is. And she just turned one year old, and she is just, she is so fun. That's great. That's and neat. I would just love to hear that song. Her name is what? Her name is Celestra. Celestra? Uh huh. That's different. It sure is. I think we should play that happy girl song for her. Excellent. Happy birthday, Celestra. <laughs> Thank you. You little happy girl. Oh, she is. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, Willie, aren't you on Celestra right now for your blood pressure or <laughs> yes, something? Sir. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good luck. Tim and Willie in the morning. Well, good morning. And how are you? I'm fine. How are you? We're okay. Good. Hey, I have a question. You guys had played a song on um, your station uh, last Thursday, and I want to know if you know who the artist was and if it was available for purchase. Okay. Um, all I can do is tell you a few words um, that were in it. It was about the um, stars and the eagles that fly and oh. the lady who waits in the harbor. Right. Um, do you know who sings that? Yes, it's that Aaron Tippin song. He recorded it within a few days of the September 11th attack. and He locked himself in a studio and said, I'm not coming out until I have a song that makes me feel better about all this. Right. Now, it's going to be available, and the proceeds are going to go to the Red Cross, but I don't know that it is yet. I can tell you when, Tim. When? October 2nd is when that song will be released as a single. Okay. And it is Aaron Tippin. And okay. We can never remember the name of it. I think it's Where the Stars and Stripes and Eagles Fly. Okay. Now, when you say released, Willie, do you mean in stores? Yes. This is what Gwyneth Fostro told me yesterday, that it will be out October 2nd. Okay. Which is okay. right around the corner. Okay. You know, you guys are doing a great job of, of you know, the appreciation that you guys are, are seeing out there. And Absolutely. You guys are doing a great job, and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. 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 Thanks for calling Tim and Willie in the morning. What's that? Oh, Mr. Bad Cell Phone is on the line? Yeah. Sir, is that you? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Finish that uh, phrase. Uh, I was just saying that I love my wife, and I wanted to know if you could play a song off uh, Diamond Rio's CD. Yeah, which song? I can't remember the name of it. It's a love ballad. That helps us a lot. Yeah, I know. Is it One More Day? <laughs> yes. Yes? One More Day. That one? Yes, I sang it to her at her brother's wedding when we were dancing, and I just wanted her to know how much I love her. Oh, aren't you sweet? I'm away from her too much during the day, and I just wanted her to know how much I feel about her. What's her name? Her name is Veronica. And your name? Archie. No. What? <laughs> no, Jughead. Jughead. <laughs> her name did come from that comic book. I said it could be it could be Moose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so her name's Veronica, and your name is? Matt. All okay, right. Matt. To Josie and the <laughs> Pussycats. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. God bless. Bye-bye. This is Tim and Willie in the morning. Well, you know what is weird? I I heard uh, a report uh, last night Mm -hmm. about, you know, the military personnel, especially like uh, fighter pilots and uh, those in the reserves, that uh, the the different levels of alert all around our country, different things are happening. Like, for instance, if you're a fighter pilot pilot in a squadron, um, the people at work and and all around the base no longer call you by your name. They they call you by your call sign. Oh, okay. Remember like the movie Top Gun? uh, Tom Cruise was Maverick. Maverick. Oh, and his friend was Goose. Right. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, that sounds kind of silly, but they take down pictures of all the pilots and all the personnel in on the walls from inside the yeah. the buildings. And huh. um, really, I mean, I got to thinking. Uh, I actually have a, an Air Force call sign yeah. because I got to fly yeah. with the Thunderbirds one yeah. time, and uh, I got to fly with the 63rd Fighter Squadron. And what did they call you? They called me 
Torch. Torch. <laughs> now, why did they call you Torch? Did you I... burn something? Were you smoking cigarettes, or did you have a Bic lighter in your pocket? Were you why did... anything? Well, yeah. they found, they did some research. First of all, you can't give yourself your call sign, your nickname. No. Uh-uh. Uh, it has to come up with, from people around you. And they gave me the nickname Torch. Because they found out about a trick I used to do in college in the dorm room after eating ah, some uh, oh, gas-producing food with a big okay. lighter. Jim Carrey. Yeah. Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Blue Flamer. Okay. So anyway, uh, if we really, if it really starts getting, you know, down to the uh, uh, down to business here, mm-hmm. I don't think we should use our real name. You need a call sign. I don't really. need a call sign. Everybody too. Everybody needs a call sign here uh, because you know. Who knows who's listening to us right now? You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. Just, if you see uh, a fighter pilot anywhere around uh, today, don't call them by their real name. Guess what I know? What? Guess what I know? What? I know your dad's call sign from when he flew in the Marines. What was his call sign? Ghost. <laughs> you're right. That's right. Really? That's right. And guess what yeah. he is now? <laughs> what? Aww. Same thing. <laughs> this is Tim and Willie in the morning. Yep, you got us here. Torch and Scorch in the morning! Hello. Hi, I was just wondering if you could play Cowboy Take Me Away by Dixie Chicks. We sure can. Alrighty, thank you. You got a a need to feel the dirt in your hands? (laughs) No, I just, I like that song, and my friends and I listen to it all the time, so. Yeah, all right. That's great. Thank you. Bye, then. Bye. Thanks for calling Tim and Willie in the morning. Hi. I'd like to do a birthday request. Yeah. Okay. Um, the song, How Do You Dance? Huh? I Hope You Dance? Hope You Dance, yes, sorry. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> um, for Courtney, she is seven years old today for Mommy. Oh, that's sweet. That is nice. <laughs> um, can you do that like before seven? Sure. I won't be awake until then. <laughs> and we want to send this out to Courtney, who's seven today. Yeah. How do you do the Hopi dance? Is that right? <laughs> One of those. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Happy birthday, Courtney. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Tim and Willie in the morning. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I, I was just wondering if you guys could do a big favor and just say thank you, good luck, and let them know our prayers are with them, all the military and all the reserves. I have friends that are in about every branch of the military and a lot of friends that are reserves, and um, a lot of my friends were called up that were reserves were called up yesterday and today, and they're all shipping out today. I think so, that's uh, a great idea. Fantastic. Let's, let's definitely not forget to say our prayers for all of those who serve our country in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, Reserves. What about the uh, Foreign Legion? The uh, <laughs> I'm even praying for people who work at, say, Old Navy. I mean, and, yeah. and their families, and their, especially right their on. families and exactly. their friends, because exactly. nobody knows where they're going, when they're going to come back, and if they're going to be safe. God bless each and every one of them, and thank you for doing what you do. Thank you. Bye bye. Tim and Willie in the morning. 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 Hello. 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 Hi. What's going on? Hey, I was wondering if you guys could do me a huge favor. Well, that's what we specialize in. The bigger, the better. <laughs> well, over the weekend, I found my soulmate, and I fell madly in love, and I wanted to know if you could play a song for him. You found Absolutely. Your, did you say you found your soul man? My soul mate. Oh, your soul mate. Your cellmate? <laughs> cellmate. <laughs> anyway, right, yeah. Tell us about him. Well, his name's Tim, and he's just everything I've always looked for in a man. He's got a great personality. You know what? You'll find most of your Tims are pretty dependable, handy, <laughs> attractive. Yeah. I'm, I'm down with Tims. <laughs> I bet. And yeah. just remember that most Tims come with a Willie. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You know what I mean. A, a Tim and Willie. Yeah. Anyway, uh, well, what song you want? Um, you have me from Hello, Kenny Chesney. Absolutely. All right. Well, Thank good luck you to you, so man. Much. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. And thanks for calling Decaffeinated Tim and Willie in the morning. Hey, hello. Hi, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, hey how, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? <laughs> Fine. So you guys are almost too much to handle this morning. <laughs> Hi, Awatha. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I got it. Hey, I, I called earlier. Um, I got a version of the national anthem that my daughter sang. She's seven years old, and it turned out really good, and I was able to get a good copy of it. I thought you guys might want to hear it. Well, bring it on. She's seven, and she's in second grade. You got it. Can you go now? Well, you got it right there. You, you... I got it right here. Oh, man. Why yep. not? What's Let's her do name? It. What is her name? My name's Dan. Her name is Sarah. Okay. And now to honor America. Let's join Sarah singing right. our national anthem. Let's roll. Hit it. Anytime. Mm-hmm. 
It's pretty good for a for seven year old. That's great. Wonder where he recorded her. She's got great pitch. Okay. It's the toughest part of the song, there, isn't it, Willie? Pretty much. This guy's reverb. (laughs) (laughs) That's great. You hear it? That's outstanding. Man, that was great. She's only seven? She's only seven and she's in the second grade. Oh, man. Very proud of her. She oh, did a great yeah. job on it. That yeah. was fantastic. Recorded live during last night's bath time, it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> Good this is Tim and Willie in the morning. Hello. Well, good morning. How you doing? Good morning to you. Do you guys not have anybody answering your phone at night? We just answered it. No, I mean at night. Oh, at night. There's a lot going on here. Ah, well, I've you been know, trying to get through since 2. Well, you Come know. On. Sometimes those night people fall asleep at the switch. Yeah. Ah, I wish I could, but I have to drive. A lot of times we come in here and there's like candles and incense burning and like soft lighting and country mood music. And uh, you have to come hang out there. And you can get, you can get a massage. All the furniture's holstered in velvet. And there's a jacuzzi. Oh, oh. Yeah. Do you like Leather, it? lace. Yeah. Cool. Could you guys play thunders making noise? Lightning's kicking. Out? <laughs> yes. See? Yes. We can try to do that. for. What's your name? Please. My name is Tammy. All right, Tammy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a great day. <laughs> you too. Later. Two of the weirdest guys you'll ever meet. Y'all are just, you guys are psychos. Tim and Willie in the morning. <laughs> Sorry. Had to sneak in a yawn there. Good morning. Hello. Hi, hey. Tim and Willie here. Hey, you guys. Yeah. What's up? I have two questions for you. When does the new Garth Brooks album come out? Oh, November. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, November something. No, no, no. Hold November on. something or other. No, oh, okay. Straight Straits comes out the six, right? Yeah. And, <laughs> All right, what's your other question? There are two words he says before he says wrapped up in you. Uh-huh. What are they? Oh, you know, I've listened to the songs <laughs> a dozen times now, and I've wondered that same thing myself. I think he's <laughs> singing... Maybe completely oh. wrapped oh up in you. There you go. I, hey, I, I always love a good serenade. Yes, that's right. If there that's were great. no you. Well, thanks for making my morning, you guys. Well, hey, God made your morning. We, we just, just made, made it better. better. <laughs> Good on it. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yep, you got Tim and Willie here. Super good morning to you. Hello. Hey, good morning. Can hey. You... <laughs> Sit. Macy. What? Okay. What? Oh, uh, Who are you talking to? There's a puppy. Huh? And I was talking to the puppy. You were talking to the puppy? Yeah. Yeah? Oh. She just jumped in my lap. Oh, uh, what kind of dog is it? It's um Chocolate Lab. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a great dog. Yes. How old is Is it Macy? Her name is Macy. Yeah, Macy. How, how old is she? Oh, let's see. Macy is probably, oh, it's a friend's dog, and she's, she just, sit. Macy. <laughs> Macy. <laughs> Ma- Macy. Oh, my God. Oh. Macy. Oh, my Hello, God. Macy. Uh, <laughs> man, just forget it. Forget we, forget. You, uh, <laughs> oh, no. I, I guess you just, like a woman, you just never ask a dog's age. That's the truth. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Willie in the morning. And hello and good morning. Hello. Hello. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you for holding on. What's up? Um, can you guys play um, I Cross My Heart by George Strait in like the next five, ten minutes? My husband's on his way to work. And really? What's his name? David. And you just want to tell him you love him. Yeah, from Billy. And that you mean it enough to even cross your heart and say it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and your name's Billy? Uh-huh. Oh, sweet. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank oh, you. where have you been, Billy girl? <laughs> I haven't heard that song. <laughs> All right, then. 
All right, thanks. Good morning. Okay, bye. Bye bye. What's his name? How quickly I forget. Oh, his name was uh, Larry. Larry. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this is for you, buddy. Okay. 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 Billy. Okay. Billy. Oh, that's her name. Billy, no. you're not going to find anyone better what? than me, okay? Uh, okay? Because I am in love with you, okay? Right. And right. you cannot fool around with that girl from Camp Olawani yeah, because no. I have given you the greatest gift what? that a woman can give to a man, and, and you, just, you, you just, you just, you just throw it back throw in my it. face. You, you throw, throw it. it. You throw, throw it. it. You throw it. You throw it. You throw it. Okay. Okay. Time's up. Tim and Willie. In the morning. I don't know, man. There is just something weird in the air here. But uh, enough about us. How are you doing this morning? <laughs> ah, fantastic. Hey, I was wondering if I might be able to hear Good Morning Beautiful sometime between 6 and 7. Between 6 and 7, you want to hear Good Morning Beautiful? Yes, sir. Yeah. Are you feeling beautiful today? Well, it just so happens to be the, my favorite song when it comes to my girlfriend. That's exactly oh. how I feel about her. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Sweet. That's really uh, great. I'd like to send that out to Victoria from T Ray. From who? T Ray? Yeah. Victoria from T Ray. T Ray. Okay, T Ray. Thank you. Sounds like Y'all a have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. I used to, my family had a T Ray boat when I was a kid. That's, That's kinda... not a T Ray. <laughs> Tim and Willie in the morning. You know, it's never too early to get a hold of us here. Tim and Willie in the morning. Hello. I like to hear uh, Carrying Your Love with Me by George Strait. Is that a Ellen, please? Yeah, carrying your love in a big old bag. You got it. Did you say to Evelyn? Ellen. Ellen. Yeah. yeah from, right. from who? From Rob. 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 Carrying okay. your love, and then and then I get home and I take all of the love and I separate it into different piles. <laughs> <laughs> Recyclables yeah, right. and non recyclables. Right, exactly. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll see you, bud. We, <laughs> Thank you very much. You betcha. Right. We are your love carriers, Tim and Willie in the morning. Hi there. Hi. What's up? Nothing. What's new? Nothing. What's happening? Nothing. <laughs> what? What you talking about, Willis? I want to request a song. Which one? I want to talk about me. You, 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 you. If we start talking about you, what are you going to say? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> he reverts to the nothing. Bye. Bye now. Stay tuned for more Nothing with Tim and Willie in the morning. Hey. Hello. I want to request a song. Yes, please. You go right ahead. Well, I don't know the name of it, but I know what it's about. Okay. It's a lady who's walking down the street, and this man smells her perfume, and then he says something along the lines, there'll never be another you. Oh, yeah. But it's about a year old, maybe a year and a half, two years. Right. Do you know Uh, who it's by? You know what? That song, it's about the the lady walking down the street, and the man starts chasing her, right? Mm, You know, they're just... And then, and then he, like, gets a whiff of her perfume, right? Yeah. And uh, the uh, I think the smell is somewhat familiar to him. Yeah. Right? right? And yeah. then he says something like, uh, Stinky woman. Yeah. No, I think Stinky woman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here's, here it is. Here's a little bit of that song. Hey, what stinks? Don't you dare touch me! Stand back! No! No! <laughs> something like that. Is that it? No, that's, that's not, not it. That's not it. You know, we better uh, run that through the digitize analyzer. Uh huh. Turn it on and you see it? how many grams of fat there are in this request. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, if we can figure it out, we'll play it. Okay. Thank you. Have okay. A good day. Thanks for calling. Bye bye. This is Tim and Willie in the morning. Yeah, we got a super fine morning going on here. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Good. Can I request a song? Sure. I want to hear "Proud to Be an American." I need to wake up. I'm on the road, and I want to hear that. Yeah, and that'll wake you up this morning? Yeah. A reminder that you're proud to be an American? Yeah. <laughs> I need something loud. I have the radio player to keep me awake. Yeah, well, just remember that uh, as you are proud to be an American, if you're driving, you know, it's probably not a good idea to put your hand over your heart. Leave those hands in 11 and 2 position. <laughs> no, I promise I will It's won't. 10 and 2, Timmy. It's 11 and it's 2. It's 10 and 2. It's 11 and T- 2. It- <laughs> Ten th- okay, I'll compromise. 10, 30, and one thirty. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye-bye. This is Tim and Willie in the morning. We got somebody here with a request calling Tim and Willie today. Hello. Hi. Uh, you wanted to hear the Poor Me song by Trick Pony. What's your name? This is Leroy. Leroy. Shut up. <laughs> Whoa. I hate the name. Come on. Leroy's a great name. You got your awesome. Leroy Brown. You got your... Leroy Parnell. Leroy, Leroy Parnell. Anderson. You got your uh, Leroy the Redneck Reindeer. Yes, Joe Diffie. Yep. I had that. I can't find it anymore. <laughs> we got your Leroy boy, is, is that, that you? you? I never heard that one. Oh. Okay, if you can't do the poor me, if you can do a different one. 
Yeah. Which uh, one? What, the, what, what is that? Um, I want to talk about me. Yeah, you do want to talk about you, don't you, Leroy? <laughs> yeah, I do. Well, you have a good day, okay? <laughs> okay, thank you. Good All luck, right. Leroy. Good luck. Tim and Willie in the morning. Hey there. Oh, yes. Could you play the phone? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's Riding with Private Andrew Malone. Oh, yeah, Riding with Private Malone. Yeah. I think we might possibly could do that for you. Thanks for calling Tim and Willie in the morning. Good morning, Tim and Willie. Hi. How are you? Good. Good? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you, you said earlier you, you had to, you're had going to take out your yaya and shake it, right? Absolutely. <laughs> well, as soon as you said that, this for some reason, uh, this song popped in my head and I stuck it in there. <laughs> it's the, one of the 70s songs. I think it was... Um, Shake your yah yah, shake your yah yah, yeah yeah. Oh <laughs> no! Gonna do it now. You're shake thinking your yah, yah, shake your... Peaches and Herb were shaking their groove thing, not their yah yah. Yeah. No, shake your yah yah. They're oh, shaking my... their groove thing, yeah yeah. Yeah, shake your yah yah, yeah yeah. <laughs> Get it? I'm confused. Now you got a little Moulin Rouge going. You know what? Yeah, exactly. I think you got a little MD twenty twenty actually, but get to get to yeah yeah. Listen, if I'm going to shake my yaya, I cannot shake my groove thing. It's just physically impossible. I could cramp up. Well, some people's groove thing is their yaya. Oh, well. <laughs> some of us aren't quite as flexible. Well, that may be so, but I, I think you're probably pretty bendy. Thank you. Very flexible. <laughs> yes, Just I'm like a Gumby. Just like Gumby and Pokey. We're your dependable, bendable radio buddies. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Have a good one. You too. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah. Yep, you got Tim and Willie here. Hello? Hi, who's this? Matthew. What's up, Matthew? Nothing. What can we do for you? Uh, I want to dedicate a song to you guys. Really? What? What is it? Called My Cyclops. Okay. Who sings it? Hmm? My Cyclops? Yeah. Who sings that? I don't know. What's it about, Matthew? I don't know. I haven't I haven't like heard it, but my mom said that there's one like a song like that. But you want to dedicate it to Tim yeah. and Willie? Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. You're not calling us from behind your couch, are you? <laughs> No. Oh, good. Whew. I'm just a little edgy for that song. Hey, thanks, Matthew. We'll look for that. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, I know. I know what he's talking about. The one I think. Yeah. I. That's of course. This is it. The Cyclops song. Call it what you like. We know it. You... Hey, Woodbanks. I got a gal with just one eye. <laughs> yeah. No depth of field, but sweet as pie. <laughs> <laughs> and I just don't carry on. If a vision isn't stereo. <laughs> <laughs> to me, she'll always be the tops. My sweet little psychologist. She's the one I, one I, one I. She's the one I, one I love. She's the one I, one I, one I. She's the one I, one I love. Now you might wonder what she's thinking. Cause it looks like she's winking <laughs> In arguments I yell and cry But you just can't see the other side <laughs> It's worse than it looks, says her mother Cause she's blind in one eye, blonde in the other Well, she's the one I, one I, one I She's the one I, one I love She's the one I, one I, one I She's the one I, one I love Now how it happens, she just won't spill Was it Scissor Sprint or William Tell? <laughs> Well, the eye got put out and was never found. Gone to take a look around. <laughs> My Colombo cutie, pop, pop, punky. 
<laughs> Sammy Jr., Sandy Duncan, oh, she's the one I, one I, one I, she's the one I, one I love. She's the one I, one I, one I, she's the one I, one I love. She's the one I, one I, one I, she's the one I, one I love. <laughs> Tim and Willie in the morning. Hello. All right, who's this? This is Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. How are you? Oh, we're great. Who is this? He's Tim. This is Tim. How are you this morning, Tim? I'm fine, and he's Willie. This, oh, okay, I got both of you. Yes, right. sir, Jonathan, you have both of us. What can we do to you for you? For, either or. Um, actually, I wanted to place a request. Yes. I was wondering if you could play Fishing in the Dark by the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Yeah. And we- dedicate that to my wife. And tell her I love her and ask her if she'll marry me. Hey, wait a second. If she's now. your wife, you're already married to her, aren't you? Yeah, yes, I am, as a matter of fact. But my wife and I have been married about five and a half years now, and I haven't missed a day of asking her yet. That is so sweet. <sighs> Did she never answer, or, and you just married her anyway? <laughs> she, she said yes the first time that it yeah. mattered. Uh-huh. And uh, I've asked her ever since just to make sure that she's still willing to marry me and uh, uh, just for my sake to make sure she is as well. She's never had to phone a friend or... <laughs> <laughs> or maybe uh, poll the audience or anything. That's her final answer. For the most part, she's never even hesitated. That's incredible. What a story. We got it for you, buddy. That's one of our favorite songs, and we'd be happy to play it. It's a love gazouta from Tim and Willie. All right. Thank you, guys. In fact, Have we got that morning. coming right up. All right. Um, you mentioned that it's um, it's Update Your Phone Message Day. Yeah. You know, it's this day every year. It's a day set aside to change, shorten, replace, or delete ridiculous, annoying phone messages. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I consider my phone message as my own little personal private radio show. <laughs> yeah, me too. You know, it's where I like to work out some of my new material. Sure. And, uh, in fact, I'm ringing up mine right now. But maybe it is time to change because I'm getting a lot of messages saying, right. uh, it's stale and old. So here is uh, ringing up my house. And, uh... Hi. Uh, leave a message now. Uh, oh. Wait. Oh. Now. No. Hold it. Now, yeah. oh. no, oh. after the beep. <laughs> that still yeah, makes me. Uh, uh, it's still kinda, fresh after uh, all these years. Uh, all right, we'll be. Uh, hi, I'll be checking this later for messages from myself. That's yeah. weird, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we're gonna call mine. Yeah, in in a bit. All right, Tim and Willie in the morning. Morning, morning, morning. Well, folks, it's time for something new. We're calling uh, Willie's moral dilemma. It's a little something to think about. You know, as you're getting up and getting ready for work or school or. Whatever, and uh, it's just something for you to chew on mentally uh, as you are presented with what's going on in the world around you. Sure, uh, maybe this will help you to sort it out somehow, and and think of it in a sort of an esoteric way. Hmm. Now, I'm one that doesn't even know really what esoteric means, but I just <laughs> <laughs> I heard somebody hey. say it and it made me feel good. Doggone Look it, it up. It sounds like something you rub on your skin to make it softer, <laughs> a cream so soft. or a balm, if you will. <laughs> when I say bomb, I'm I'm spelling it B A L M. Right, bomb. I don't want to alarm anybody. But I, I think I can paraphrase for you, Tim. What he's trying to say is, a lot of times, certain situations in life, we feel that if they came up, we would be able to act in a certain way. But if they did come up, would we really act or react in that way? In well, two words, situation ethics. Okay. Situational ethics, Andrea. Yes, that's a good way to. There put really it. is no right answer or wrong answer. There is only your answer in. Willie's Moral Dilemma. <laughs> this is an imaginary situation, but I think you'll find it beneficial to really think through this complete exercise. And here is the situation. Picture yourself in the Middle East, and there's a huge flood in progress. Many homes have been lost. Water supplies compromised and structures destroyed. You're a freelance photographer for a news service. You're traveling alone, looking for particularly poignant scenes that you can shoot. Then you come across Osama bin Laden who has been swept away by the floodwaters. He is barely hanging on to a tree limb and is about to go under. You have to make a choice. You can either put down your camera and save him or take a Pulitzer Prize-winning photograph of him as he loses his grip on the limb. (laughs) So here's the question I have for you. Right. And think carefully before you answer it. Right. Which lens would you use? (laughs) No! Help! Hey... This has been <laughs> Willie's Moral Dilemma. Thank you for listening. Tim and Willie in the morning. So you like country music? 
I like the way you play it. All you guys. Oh, thank you very much. Hey, and we like the way this guy plays it. Tracy Lawrence is on the phone. How you doing, buddy? I'm good, man. How are you? <laughs> hey, we're having a super day, and we hope you are, too. I am, man. I'm uh, actually been on the road for quite some time. Been really busy. Just taking a day off, trying to get caught up on that pile of faxes that roll off that fax machine while I'm out of town. And, of course, you finally get a day off, and the first 50 faxes are requests from Tim and Willie for you to call us. Not a problem. I'll get out the guitar. We'll do through the rest of the way again. Oh. There you go. Uh. So you've been touring. Where you been? Man, we have been... Uh, Pennsylvania, New York City, we've been in Canada, we've been in Utah, we've been in Oregon, Montana, we have been in Nebraska, <laughs> you name it, we've been there. Well, we, we have a motto here, eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow you may be in Utah. But, <laughs> what was it like in New York? We actually played down in the financial district right in front of the Twin Towers, uh, in front of the World T Trade Center, they had a... a a festival kind of thing there, and it was really cool, man. Uh, you'd be surprised at all the country music fans in New York City. All right. Do you get uh, different things thrown at you in different parts of the country? Lingerie and things like that, yeah. Yeah, mostly. All right. <laughs> and, of course, it just varies in size and cleanliness depending on what part of the country you're in, right? Well, yeah, you know. <laughs> Man, you've been putting so many miles on the bus, I sure hope you don't have any of those Firestone tires on it. Man, we, we don't run Firestones on the bus. <laughs> okay, all right, very good. You know, we went 14,000 miles in four weeks. Jeez. Man. Uh, and, boy, my arm's tired. Yeah, and do you, <laughs> Tracy, do you get any kind of a special, uh, like do you get free miles on Greyhound when you do that? Or? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> no, all you do is pay higher gas prices, man. They don't cut you no slack. All right. Well, we're loving all the music from the album, and uh, I still keep waiting for us to play The Long Wet Kiss. That's my favorite song on the You like that one? Recent. Yeah. yeah. In fact, every time we play it in studio off the air, we just Tim and I would sit here and make out with each other. <laughs> oh, don't be telling me that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, there's a fax. Oh, oh, my gosh, you're getting a fax. It's probably from Kenny Chesney. Probably so. Now, Tracy, get me off this horse. <laughs> You know, I get blamed for being there, and I was in Arkansas when that happened. Do you really? Yeah. Get out of here. Uh, you know how things are. That's kind of funny, isn't it? I, I've, I've officially passed the torch on, though, okay? Yeah. They can do anything they want to. I'm out of that part of it. All right. Well, next time you come on through town, we expect to see you in here in studio with us. I will be there okay. with bells on. All right. And the little twenty-toed shoes, you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dan. I got a new guitar. You don't need to bring one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Tracy Lawrence. Good to talk to you, buddy. Thanks, guys. Look forward to seeing you soon, man. All righty. <laughs> you know, he made reference in there to being in here with us and something we all did together the last time he was here. Oh, yeah. I played guitar with him, if I remember correctly. Oh, everything's getting blurry. It is getting blurry. Why is he doing that? that? I don't know. It's like... You mind if we sing along? Hey, man, let's party. Let's do it. Okay. Off the Alibis album. That's okay. what this one is. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I met him and I dived down in New Orleans. I recognized his handsome face. It was none of my business, but I had to know what he was doing in this kind of place. Cause he used to have money, he used to have honeys, he used to be society's prince. But he still wore a grin when I sat beside him, and that's where all that money went. He said some was spent on gambling, a lot was spent on women, a little on some good cabernet. Horses, at least as many horses that never left the starting gate. Diamond rings and furs, swamp plant in New Jersey that we could spend a year in LA. You know why he too would admit it. I threw the rest away. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. Hold on, boys. <laughs> Lacing money don't mean nothing in this game of life. It's just the way you keep in score. Show me a man who's got everything. I show you one who wants even more. Well, so smoke them when you got them. Cause when you hit the bottom, you gotta have a reason to smile. Hey, you can have a little piece of the rock. I 
I'll take a little peace of mind. He said some was spent on gambling, a lot was spent on women, a little on some good cabernet. Three or four divorces, at least as many horses, they never left the starting gate. Diamond rings and furs, swamp plant in New Jersey, that we could spend a year in L.A. Diamond rings and furs, small plant in New Jersey that we can spend a year in LA. No, I hate to admit it. I threw the rest away. <laughs> Good deal. Love you, long time. Thank you. Love you, long time. Trick. Say it again. Yes, all right. This is a thrilling moment in all of our lives. Tim and Willie in the morning. Hey, you heard us mention this a little bit uh, ago this hour. Mm-hmm that uh, Willie actually sings the national anthem quite well. And seeing as how you grew up in uh, Illinois and you yeah. grew up a Cub fan, a baseball yeah, sure. fan of the Cubs, uh, yeah. one of your goals in life was to sing the national anthem at Wrigley Field in and Chicago. It was, right, uh, while Harry Carey was still alive. Yes, and we have now this rare recording from the Tim and Willie archives. For those of you who don't believe it, now you might want to, as you're listening, as you're getting ready for whatever, or you're driving or whatever, you can uh, put your hand right over your heart. It's and, not that good. And sing along. <laughs> if, just follow the bouncing ball to the words, because this is the day that the uh, the Francis, national anthem was actually written. Francis Scott Key wrote it on this very day in 1814. Okay. And then it became our official national anthem in 1931. And you know what? This is I love this song. I can't get enough of it. And, and by the way, it is country music. It's about only the greatest country in the world, huh? Right on! Yes, America. Love Here's, it or leave it. Here is Willie DeLoon, and you'll also hear Harry Carey's critique of Willie DeLoon singing the anthem uh, from a couple of years ago. Well, at least uh, several years ago. Here we go. All right, stay with us, folks. The national anthem in a moment. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free And the home of the brave National anthem of the day was performed and very well by Willie D. Loon. Loon spelled backwards would be Newell. Either way, he sang a beautiful rendition of our national anthem. <laughs> it oh, was boy. beautiful. And Francis oh. Scott Key would have been proud, and Francis Scott Harry Carey was awful proud of that day. Speaking of Francis Scott Key, yeah. I don't know if you noticed or not, the organist started in the wrong key. Well, that's it all that's ties it. in. It does. Hey, happy birthday, national anthem. Willie, give yourself a hand. Oh. Everybody. Willie Ouch. Balloon, everybody. Thank you very much. We're Tim and Willie in the morning. <laughs> all right, and we do have a listener right now who wants us to wake up his wife. Because uh, they were at the zoo, and she's afraid of animals, and 
I don't know. <laughs> you ever been afraid of petting zoo animals, Willie? Mm, I cannot say I have. Okay, yeah. I, although my kids have been knocked down by many little like goats and sheep and the like. That can be traumatic on a child. It can. I think it's Kathy we're calling here. Yeah. Hello? Yes, hello. Is Kathy there? This is Kathy. Hey, Kathy, uh, this is uh, Rico down at the zoo. Hi. Hi. Were you, were, did you visit here recently? Yeah, so we were there yesterday. Oh, yeah, okay. Because uh, I was cleaning up and I found, uh, I think, your wallet and your driver's license and your purse. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't even know it was missing. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Um, is it there at the zoo still? Yeah. Did you want me to just leave it here or should I... Yeah, take... um... I could probably clean it first. What's that? I should probably clean it first. Oh, where was it? Uh, I don't think you want to know. <laughs> Are it, you serious? It was in a big pile of elephant dung. Are you serious? Yeah. How did it get there? Was it inside the elephant? Well, okay. it's like the elephant came through the petting zoo later. They walk them through there late in the oh, day. Oh, it was in the petting zoo. Right. Apparently, the elephant ate a goat that was chewing on it. And so, yeah. Wow. Is it pretty messed up? Well, <laughs> it doesn't smell too good, but... Okay. Well, um, I can come down there uh, as soon as my daughter takes off to go to school. Um, where should I pick it up? What kind of purse was that? Because the elephant seemed to like it. it I don't know. I, I, it's just not even a, like an expensive wallet or anything. Oh, very um, good. Actually... Trying to see, you know, I actually have my wallet here. Oh, really? <laughs> Could this maybe then just be Tim and Willie calling you? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. By the way, Willie was doing all of the impersonations of animals there. <laughs> Fine job he did. Hey, James just wanted that was us to. Lovely. Yeah, he just wanted us to call you and wake you up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm awake. All right. Just, Thank you. Hey, just kidding about your poopy uh, wallet. <laughs> uh, have a good day. Thanks. <laughs> You're waking. Hello. You're waking up with a Tim and a Willie. Hey, we got more with uh, one of our favorite comics on the phone, Jeff Foxworthy. You guys have been out in the sun too long. Oh, well, that's true. You may be right about that. Yeah, yeah. Tim, on his days off, he goes and gets a tiller. It just tills up his ground. Yeah. Now, you, you know what? I could send you to my in-law's house if you'd like. Really? They, they could some, put you to work. They need some heavy lifting? Well, they, they don't do the heavy stuff, but they, they're they to that age where they they have nothing else to do, so it's the little odd jobs like that. You know, my father-in-law has a tiller, but he doesn't have a garden. He just goes tills out the backyard till he about has, you know, keels over. And, why, why are you doing that for? Hey, the grass, grass won't grow right down there. I, in fact, I've got a thing with my in-laws. I think it should be the next Survivor show. Wow. Um, Anybody that can stay with my in-laws for two weeks in a row deserves a million dollars. Hey, that's a great idea. I, you, Unbelievable. They have nothing to do. They get up at 4.45 in the morning. Every day. Every day. Don't drink coffee. Don't read the newspaper. My father-in-law goes straight to the den and starts watching the Discovery Channel. Oh, wow. At a volume normally reserved for movie theater sound commercials. <laughs> so you're staying with them. You know, the sun hasn't even thought about coming up. All of a sudden, you're awake by, like other predators of the plains, the jackal subdues its victim by clamping his neck and slowly squeezing the life from his body. <laughs> You're in the bed going, you know what? That ain't a bad idea. Yeah. And it's a weird sensation to be mad and learning at the same time. <laughs> Second morning we were there, I learned everything there was to know about the African willow fly before I'd even been to the bathroom. <laughs> and it, like, probably like you've got relatives like this. They keep their house a little warm. Oh, yeah. It, it, their home is, it, and it's roughly the same temperature as the bottom of the space shuttle when it's about... Five feet off the ground. <laughs> and they walk around in sweaters. You know, they're like, is anybody else cold? Is it just me? Is anybody else cold? I'm naked on the tile bathroom floor gasping for air. Because <laughs> I remember when I was in the fifth grade and the firemen visited our school, they told us that's where the last oxygen would be, right there next to the floor. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the bathroom so long, my mother-in-law's beating on the door. 
Do you need a correct all? <laughs> you need too much tea. Hey, Jeff, nice talking to you again. Nice talking to you guys. Thanks. Tim and Willie in the morning. 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 All right. Willie, I, I yeah. feel pretty good about this, you know? I think uh, it's been a little bit unbalanced on this show in favor of George W. Bush. I'm okay with this. And so I think, you know, kind of like we're going all McNeil Lair and everything. Yeah, a little bit. We thought we'd uh, call up the local campaign headquarters for Al Gore. Give them a chance. Yep. Hello? Hello? Uh, Gore campaign headquarters. <laughs> this is Al Gore's campaign headquarters here in town? That's right. Uh, good morning. This is Tim and Willie. And, good morning. Wow, big exciting day over there. Uh, oh, boy. You can say that again. You, uh... <laughs> You haven't started celebrating anything early, have you? Me? <laughs> because I think that might be... I think this could be a close race tonight. Yeah, it sure is. Hey, listen, we're calling <laughs> because we thought... We've talked a lot about George Bush and, and maybe not enough about Al Gore, so we thought we'd give your side a chance just to uh, tell us why we should vote for, for your man uh, as the next president of the United States. Well, uh, I, to be honest with you... I'm still undecided. <laughs> you're, and you're working in this campaign headquarters? I I was thinking about voting for that uh, Colonel Sanders or Jim Beam or Jack Daniel, whoever that other guy. I don't know. All right, then. Oh, oh. <laughs> so oh no. He might be uh, actually a member of the Green Party. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there, there you go. Super good morning, everybody. This is Tim and Willie in the morning. Uh, uh, Tim and Willie? Yes, yes, it is. Yeah. Listen, I, I'm, I'm calling from my car, and, <laughs> and someone has stolen my steering wheel and, yep. and my stereo and my gear shift. What is the deal with that? So, so if you guys can help me, if, if you think you can help me find all that. Oh, hang on, hold on a second. What? All right. Uh, oh, never mind. Why? Uh, I, I just figured out. I'm in the back seat. Carolyn Don Johnson is here with Tim and Willie this morning. This is an impressive resume. I don't know what kind of jobs we got here at... Uh, at our station, but we're, you're hired. Whatever you want, you can Aww. do it. <laughs> w- Willie, did you know that uh, she has uh, sung backup recently for Martina McBride? You you toured with her for a while, right? I, noticed I that. did. Uh-huh. Yeah. And um, what notes did you sing on that? Anything we'd recognize? Um, I sang, and I'm being so totally wrapped up. All that really high stuff, <laughs> uh, and I love you. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. did you sing on that Carton of Milk song? Yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah, the uh, yeah the Here I'll Cover You, Honey song. <laughs> oh. you know, that one. No, no, I didn't. Okay. All right. All right uh, uh, also sung background for uh, Patty Loveless, Loretta Lynn, Kenny Rogers, Susie Boggess, and Jennifer Day. And you have penned songs for Jody Messina, Patty Loveless, Shelley Wright, Shadaisy, Pam Tillis, Linda Davis, Mindy McCready, Jennifer Day, Lila McCann, Garth Brooks, and Susie Boggess. <laughs> Holy smoke. I think Garth Brooks, um, I didn't know about that one. Hey, we all put things on our resume that we didn't <laughs> really do. It's amazing. Oh, yes. Now, also, this is this has got to be fun because the CD that you, you've got out, what is, what is the name of it? Is it out? What's it um, called? It's not out yet, and okay. it's going to be called Room with a View because mm-hmm. I feel like this album is like a window to my soul. Oh, nice. Man, I, see, <laughs> see, songwriters talk like that. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Uh, we'll never make it. I've got just a, actually an air duct to my soul. It's not a window. <laughs> yeah, we know, Tim. That's why we keep the glade in here. Uh, and when will the CD be out? This will not be out until January. Oh, okay. So we got a little bit of time. Yeah, we've got some time. Well, I can take it off the Christmas list, I guess, since it won't be out until the first of the year. Hey, what is it like when you are a songwriter and, and you've got the music in you, you've got this passion, and, you know, you, you move to Nashville and you write a song, and then, you know, it gets picked up, it gets recorded. Then you hear it on the radio. Describe that feeling. Oh, that's awesome. It's a great feeling. The first song I heard on the radio was a song called I'm Yours that Linda Davis did, and that was the very first thing, and it was on one of those morning shows where they go, is this a hit or not? You know? Oh, yeah. Dump it or chump it or like it or leave it. or Yeah, yeah. yes or no. My Check heart or raced, or no. and I called, like, as many people. I hardly heard it because I was like, it's on, it's on, it's on, you know. And um, <laughs> at the end, um, the very first girl that called in was like, I've lived that song. I love that song and whatever. And it was, it was so rewarding. And I was, oh, just, cool. I was just pumped up. Yeah. And yeah. that was you that called? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 
But uh, now, do you think it'll be an even bigger thrill to hear one of your own songs? I mean, you wrote it and you sing it. Yeah, actually, um, I think it's just a different one. Mm -hmm. um, it was very emotional. I could not believe I actually heard myself on the radio because listening to it on the CD sounds different. I mean, it does sound better on the radio. It absolutely does. It was very, I don't know, I cried a little bit. So it was cool. Wow. Well, the true test for us, I mean, anytime somebody can come in and sing and play the instrument, unplug and sound great, yeah. which you did, I mean, that that's very impressive. Well, mm -hmm. that's another part of the resume here. She studied recording engineering for a year in Vancouver. I did. How are our levels? <laughs> Check. Have you been watching Check. the VU meters here? <laughs> yeah. You know, I was just one of those girls who was trying to round out everything I did. And I, I just, I, I love the studio and I wanted to know what was happening in it. And uh, I, I guess it did help me. I ended up getting a chance to co-produce this album with Paul Worley. So wow. not that I was the engineer because I wasn't. You know, you get feelings about things, and you sing things, and you, can you do this, and can you do that? And mm -hmm. it was it was a very cool course that I took. That's great. Carolyn Don Johnson is in our studio with us. Hang out, because we want to hear you play another song on your guitar. And happy Friday, everybody, with Tim and Willie in the morning. We play this one for all the truckers. <laughs> Oh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, one, seven, eighteen wheels on a big rig. Everybody, here we go. Oh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, one, seven, eighteen wheels on a big rig. And they're rolling, 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 rolling. Roll. Okay, let's back them up. Here we go. Oh, there's eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, four, six, five, four, three, two, one wheels on a big rig. Okay, just even numbers. Oh, there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen wheels on a big ring. Yeah. And they're rolling, 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 rolling. Okay, just the odd numbers. Here we go. Oh, there's one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, 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 thirteen, fifteen, seventeen wheels. Oh. Oh, you're so smart in math, yeah. Okay, well, how about, how about uh, Roman numerals, Mr. Smart Bob? Oh, there's I, 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 V, 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 I, V, I, 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 V, I, 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 X, 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 I, X, I, I, X, I, 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 X, I, V, X, V, X, V, I, X, V, I, I, X, V, I, 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 wheels on a big ring. And they're rolling, 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 rolling. Okay, get out your wrist calculator. Let's divide the wheels by pi. Here we go. Oh, there's 3.1418555121290134680. And they're rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Ten four, good buddy. This is Tim and Willie in the morning. We're uh, just sitting here uh, talking with Eric Heatherly. i got a few more questions for you, Eric. Yeah, and he smells a lot like gasoline. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, playing solitaire till dawn. Now, don't you think it would have been better if you were playing like a Game Boy or maybe a PlayStation? Well, since it was a 1965 deal, you know, there was, Game Boy would be like, watch that, boys. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I ain't never seen one of them or thumb controllers. <laughs> but... Uh, Smoking cigarettes and watching Captain Kangaroo. I mean, my kid's a little more into latte and, like, bear in the big blue house. Yeah. What, lyrically, did that just not work? Well, not, I'll tell you what's crazy about this song, man. Kids, you know, 18, 20 years old and younger think it's a brand new song. Yeah. And they think I'm coming out all balls to the wall singing about smoking, you know, and <laughs> Captain Kangaroo, what the crap is this? You know, this <laughs> taboo stuff, man, you know. <laughs> He's, He's out like, there. This is and it freaks him out totally. Yeah, either way, I have to kiss him. What oh, doing, my baby? goodness. And sing it all the time. Oh, uh, right man. now, uh, Eric Heatherly thing. and Mindy McCready are making out. Yeah, that was kind of cool. Bye, Mindy. Bye, Mindy. Thanks for stopping by. Eric, does that happen to you a lot? I wish. Yeah. <laughs> mm. You know what it is? It's the Chevy. <laughs> it's the gasoline. Man. It's the gasoline. Hey, it is the gasoline, Eric. Hang yeah. on. We got more with Eric Heatherly coming up. With Tim and Willie in the morning. Hey, cool. We got Sarah Evans cruising in with us now. Hey, looking pretty fly for a white guy. Gal. White gal. <laughs> Only five minutes with Sarah Evans. There's no way. Come on. Fire, fire him at me. Come on. Sure. Hi, I don't Sarah. Want any music industry questions. Everything personal. All, All right. right. Uh, Good stuff. Here we go. Sarah, first thing I want to say is, oh, I love that song. Thank the fly you. song. I just, I can't get enough of it. Pretty good, don't you think? Mostly yeah. because we just keep playing it back to back. We like finish playing it and we go, I got to hear that again. Oh, thank it you. It is so. wonderful. You have such a wonderful voice and it's distinct. And when we hear a Sarah Evans song, we know that's Sarah Evans. And Good. that's what this industry needs. Dang right. Uh, 
Uh, now, is it true that you were hit by a car when you were eight years uh-huh. old? And how are you feeling after that? I'm feeling pretty good today. How's nice. that car? Is it okay? The car is total. total. <laughs> but um, now, where my head hit. Seriously, there was a huge dent in the car where my head hit. What kind of car was it? It was a um, Pinto station wagon. It was light blue. And it and it didn't burst into flames. <laughs> um, actually, it did, and so did I. Wow. No. <laughs> oh, she must have been a drummer for Spinal Tap. Yeah, that's right. I just saw Spinal Tap the other day. We've got the DVD here on Willie's I computer. I just bought the DVD. There you it go. was the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Have you ever seen it before then? Never. Oh, my God. You hadn't? Well, you couldn't find it anywhere until just recently they re-released it, but I've tried to rent it a million times. Could never find it. Well, welcome to the world of Spinal Tap fans. Tap the rules. best is when they cannot find the stage. Oh, Other way. Other way. And the other best is when... Um, wait, what was I going to say? Shark Sandwich. The review you had on Shark Sandwich, which was merely a two-word review, just said, Shark Sandwich. Um, <laughs> Where'd they print that? that? Where'd they print that? That's yeah, not real, is it? You can't print that. Yeah, that was good. You're waking up. Hello? You're waking up with a Tim and a Willie. Hey, and we're playing back some of the uh, moments we didn't even get to. We were so deluged with country stars this whole week. Millions of them. Uh, but we got visited by a lot of uh, up-and-coming country stars. One of them we met just a few weeks ago in our own studios, the Clark Family Savings and Loan or Will and Bank Trust. Bank and Trust. No, yeah. uh, the, the experience. That's what they are. bunch of young singing guys. They all wear these really nice suits, and uh, they can play bluegrass music. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. they got a song right now called uh, Meanwhile Back at the Ranch. But, you know, they, uh, they've they been singing together for all these years. They're, they're sort of like the, the Osmonds of the Appalachians. Right. Anyway, they paid us a visit this week to tell us how things have been going since we saw them last. Thank you guys for all your support and everything. We appreciate oh, this, that man, so much. You guys are great. We're big on Clarks. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're, oh, we're yeah. big Clark people. We're almost Clarks. Ooh. Oh, okay. We call ourselves the Nearly Clarks. <laughs> the Nearly Clarks. <laughs> <laughs> so how's your guys' week been? Good? Oh, it's it's been busy, good. I bet. Crazy. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. We've been stampeded by country music stars man we wow, are just that's pretty cool whoosh, we're pretty starstruck but it really is yeah awesome yeah. But, but none of them you know dress as nicely as you guys I gotta oh well we just a uh, hand yeah. for that yeah can i just tell you something that i think is probably one of the funniest things i've heard yet was this goofball from rascal flats was in here the other day and he's wearing two earrings yeah and he said they met merle haggard they went on merle's bus Merle said, what do you guys do? And he said, I sing country music. And Merle said, not with them earrings, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Merle. Sounds How cool is that? Did you guys, would you mind singing? We sure enjoyed the last no, time you played sure, for us. Yeah, yeah, a little yeah, guitar yeah. over there. Here, I'll tell you what, we're uh, going to take some of these should be in tune. Here. Somebody no. was. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Just play All right, right, just play something. All right. Three. Four. Long version. song does have words. Oh, yesterday, y'all, my troubles seem so far away, but now it seems as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday, and suddenly... Not half the man I used to be And there's a shadow hanging over me Oh, yesterday came suddenly And why she had to go I don't know She wouldn't say, wouldn't say no I said something Right here on our show, The Clark Family. The acapella version. Wow. You know, I, I, I hate to say it, but, you know, it, the Beatles suck. Oh, man. <laughs> no, 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 dude. No. Gosh, you guys. How about it, ladies and gentlemen, for the Clark Woo! Family experience? Yeah. Thanks, Love guys. This is Tim and Willie in the morning. Hey, uh, Wilbur, did you say we uh, just got a little email that flashed across the screen? Yes, we did. This is an email from somebody named Mo. 
says, Tim and Willie, I hear you guys doing the Kiss This line with the Kiss This song, but uh, is there any chance that you could do maybe a Take This Job and Shove It line? Oh, because I'm thinking line, about yeah. telling my boss to do just that. Well, listen, Mo, we appreciate the email, and I, I understand. I, we've all been there with the boss. I was oh. just there about five minutes ago. <laughs> no, just kidding. Of course I'm kidding. But uh, the uh, the truth is, before you call and tell your boss to take the job and you know what? We think that you need a little bit of counseling first, so we have a new phone line for you to call. Hello, and welcome to the Johnny Paycheck Career Counseling Hotline. Call now to discuss your concerns about the workplace. Hi, Johnny. Yeah, I've uh, been working at the same job for about, oh, I don't know, 10 or 12 years now. and Never gotten a pay raise or anything, and uh, they've just moved me down to a small office down in the basement with one light bulb. What do you think I should do? I'll tell you, if I was you, I'd take that job and shove it. Oh, gosh. I'll do that. Thanks, Johnny. You're a godsend. Okay. Uh, Hello, Mr. Paycheck. My name is Bob, and I'm a medical lab technician at a local hospital. My specialty is with the rigid sigmoidoscope used to survey the colon and gastric region. But anyway... I think that's very interesting, but I I think you should take this job and show it. Uh, Okay, bye. Hey, Mr. Paycheck. I work with these people that used to be really nice, but lately they've created this hostile work environment that adversely affects my performance. Uh-huh. Their improper conduct includes, but is not limited to, off-color innuendos, okay. unwelcome touching, yeah. okay. and shoulder massages. Uh-huh. My question is, should I quit and sue everyone? Well, we all should try to work together and go that extra mile, but I guess in the end we should take that job and shut it. This has been the Johnny Paycheck Career Counseling Hotline. Listen tomorrow at this time for the Merle Haggard Marriage Minute. Take this job and shove it. Yeah, this is Johnny Paycheck. All right. Hey, Tim and Willie. Yeah, hello. Shut it. Okay. <laughs> Tim and Willie in the morning. Hey, we got somebody on the phone uh, with a question, ma'am, about what now? Jim Brewer. That's right. That did the comedy thing about the alcohol. Yes. Yes, the stomach's the bouncer. Does he have a tape or a CD or, I mean, I've never heard of him before. Is there any way to get a copy of that? Well, yeah. Uh, you know what we're actually thinking of doing is putting that on our website, wctq.com. You'll mm-hmm. be able to download it and listen to it there. You he, like that? That's my yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. That's my idea. Hey, hey, Jim Brewer was part of the cast of Saturday Night Live, and he was also in that movie Half Baked. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you guys are going to have the whole thing on audio on your website? Yes, that's right. As soon as Willie quits right-clicking my mouse. Hey! Okay. Got it? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, whatever you want, whatever you need, we are the disc jockeys who aim to please. Won't you aim to, please? We're, we're playing the hits while you're spraying your pits. We're on the air while you're doing your hair, and we've got somebody with a special need on the line giving us a honk on the blower. Hello? Yeah. Um, I was wondering if you could send Bulldozer out to the guys that that I work with okay. by Haywood Banks, if you got it. Yeah. Uh, the Bulldozer song. Yeah. Why is that? Uh, well, we're construction workers, so and I think they'd get a kick out of it. Okay, who are they? They're, uh, it's Dave Olson's crew from Olson Brothers Construction. Great. It's a uh, construction worker gazauta. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Cool. In this day and age, in this big old troubled world, where the little guy ain't got a chance. There's only one thing I can think of That could make a difference If I had a bulldozer Everything would be so fine I would never have to move it over Never have to stand in line (laughs) If I had a bulldozer be lots of parking places. <laughs> I just looked for that brand new Corvette. <laughs> it's been taking up two spaces. <laughs> if I had a diesel rig with a big old blade, treads just like a tank, I would have it made. Courtesy would rain, arguments would cease, cause everyone would know I'd squash them like a chain. If I had a bulldozer My application would go through And my boss would run to get my coat If I decided to leave by two If I had a bulldozer 
the IRS would never chide. You know, an audit would really go quickly with a dozer idling outside. <laughs> if I had a diesel rig with a big old blade, treads just like a tank, I would have it made. Courtesy would rain. Arguments are fake, cause everyone would know. I'd squash them like a grape. Tuba solo. <laughs> That's country. <laughs> You're listening to Haywood Banks on the Tim and Willie Show. To order Haywood Banks music, 1-800-TOAST-FOR-YOU. If I had a bulldozer, all the doors would open up. And people would treat me with a lot more respect. Or I'd knock them down and squash them up. If I had a diesel rig with a big old blade, the world would be a better place. Tim and Willie in the morning. It's the way I feel about it. Somebody's been hanging on for the last 45 Uh-oh. minutes. Hello. Hello. Good morning. This is Tim and Willie. Hi. Hi. Um, my son is uh, three. <laughs> He'll be four next month. And he has a, a noise that he makes. And to me, it sounds like a sheep. <laughs> and so he said he'd do it on the phone for you. Here you go. Go ahead and put him on. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh, how, that's kooky. How old is this kid? Uh, he'll be four at the end of next month. <laughs> four. And, and and what does he usually want when he makes that noise? Uh, nothing. Nothing. He, he really? just loves to do it. Wow. What's his name? Brian. Brian. Brian, Brian the sheep boy. <laughs> Go ahead. Let's have him make it one more time. <laughs> nice. Hi, y'all. It's the Dixie Chicks, and we love you, Go Boy. Tim and Willie in the morning. Morning. Morning.